Hello everybody, and welcome back. Um, thought I'd start really quickly here by thanking everybody that has uh, stuck around over these last couple of months and been sending messages and uh, and just waiting for me to, to jump back into things here. Um, it was a couple of long months, but uh, it really, really helped out. Everything's all nice and refreshed, and, uh, and we're ready to get back to it. So hopefully you guys are uh, as excited as I am, and we can get back to having a little bit of fun. So um, as I mentioned in the little community post that I made before this video, um, I am going to be focusing a lot on farm sim. Um, it's just, you know, it's, it's very relaxing, it's very easygoing, and it's... It's probably the number one game on my list, um, and it always has been. And we do have Farm Sim 25 coming out in just a little bit over a month, so I just really, really, really want to dive back in and uh, do a bunch of Farm Sim and get myself ready to rock and roll for when Farm Sim 25 drops. So um, let me take you on a little tour here. I'm going to switch back into first person view. And we're going to go take a look through this little farm that we've got set up. So this map is called The Three Small Farms. And I have chosen one of the farms. So I've chosen the farm up in the north end of the map here. It comes with a little pig sty there so we can do some pigs. Uh, one of the other farms you can start with is down here. It has cattle. And I think there's one other one here that has chickens, but not so. oh no, here's the other one, and it has cattle as well. Um, so yeah, but anyways, I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I've, I've never really done pigs before, so I took this farm, and this is definitely not going to be a challenging gameplay situation. We're just going to have some fun, so... Um, what I've done is I've given us some starting equipment So we've got ourselves a little baler and a small tractor with a front loader and some implements Got a little grain trailer there. We've got a harvester With a header and a trailer. We've got some uh, Grass working equipment because we do that big field right there that big grass field that is ours and we've got uh, another tractor with a fertilizer spreader, a plow, and a cultivator. And we have one little piece of equipment hiding around the corner here. Um, you can see the green trailer, but we've got a little bale trailer tucked in, in here. For when we're uh, working with our grass over there. So this is, this is the setup that we've got. And we're just going to have some fun. We don't have any set... Uh, plans in place. It's not like you know trying to make X amount of dollars playing for X number of episodes Just gonna have some fun take it easy and relax uh, One thing that I have done is I've really cranked up the realism over these last couple of months while I've been off and relaxing I've been doing a lot of work on checking into stuff for farm sim and and getting some things ready to rock and roll and spending some time in it getting back into the swing of things for when farm sim 25 comes out and so we've got a whole bunch of new realism mods that i've added in um got the ability to lease farmland rather than buy it which is cool uh we do i've been practicing with the precision farming so i know how it works i know kind of what's going on with it which is really nice we have a variable loan system, so the interest rate will go up and down, and that will affect how much you've got to pay back, and so on and so forth. Um, we do have uh, advanced contracts as well, so there will be, um, we could turn on lazy farmers, which gives us a lot more contracts to do. I don't want to do that, I just want to have the standard contracts that are in there. The only thing that I've done is as we do contracts for farmers, the more contracts we do, they'll give us discounts if we're gonna buy land from them. 
but I've limited it to like a 10% discount. I don't want to have it go crazy where we're getting the land for free. So, um, so that's on there. And then I have put on a lot of gameplay realism mods. Like, uh, I'll show you quick. So when we hop in, I can't spin my head all the way around. We're stuck. So in there, you've got to look opposite direction, which is really cool. And um, we've got realistic fueling. So you have to get out and do the fueling. We've got realistic um, opening and closing of covers on trailers. And we have realistic or manual attach. So we have to get out, hook up the hoses, hook up the hydraulics, do all that kind of stuff. So everything is going to be very much along the realism lines. Um, and why I'm doing this is because I'm hoping and praying that when the time comes uh, and Farmers Home 25 comes out and some of these mods start popping around that um, we can maybe get a role play thing set up and uh, I've got some really good ideas in mind so there's no promises but uh, I have some really really cool ideas in mind and I'm hoping that we can do something get some role play stuff started worst case scenario we're at least gonna have a couple different series in Farm Sim 25 when it comes out um, and we're just gonna have a boatload of fun with it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the HUD back up and we're gonna start some time and we're gonna get rocket and rolling um, I believe that when I last took a quick little look I did a quick little bit of setup in here I believe that our one field is ready to be harvested so we're just gonna park our tractor right here and we're just going to go confirm we have this grass field that is ready to harvest that we can cut but grass we've got all the time in the world but over here we have a really really big canola field and it is indeed ready to harvest so i think what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the harvester and we're going to bring it over and we'll get to work on harvesting up some canola and then when we get our canola done, we will definitely, I want to get some of the canola put into the pig sty here so that we can get some pigs going on. I want to get animals as soon as possible and have a little bit of fun. Like I said, I've never, never really done pigs before. Um, so I definitely would like to get that uh, going sooner rather than later. So we're going to drive over here to our canola, and we're going to get to work. Um, a lot of the other mods that I've got in here for realism, we're just going to kind of, I guess you guys will discover as things go on. But I've put a whole bunch in, um, including, like, if I drive on other people's crops, I lose points for damaging their crops. All sorts of cool stuff that I've, that I've done here. So, we're going to get the PTO hooked up, we're going to get the hydraulics hooked up, and we are going to get to work on our canola here. And what I'm going to try and do for this series is um, when we are uh, doing the job, we're going to be in the cab view, we're going to be first person view. When I switch to do a time lapse, I will cut to a third person view so that I can show you guys more of this map. Uh, it is a really, really beautiful map. I love it. I downloaded probably about five or six different maps trying to find one that would kind of have a nice look and a nice relaxing feel and have some maps or some fields that weren't too, too big. You know, we just want to, we want to like I said, this is all about having some fun, getting back into the swing of things. Very, very stress-free, very relaxed gameplay. So, um, it 
is going to be a little bit of a slow series, but this is me jumping back in and trying to control, uh, you know, just how fast things go. <laughs> Oh, jeez, I hit the wrong key. Come on, get down. There we go. So we're just going to take it easy for our first little while here. Get back into the swing of things nice and slowly. And uh, just get back to having some fun and some gameplay. So hopefully you guys will all, uh, will all just enjoy the nice, relaxing, fun little farm scene. Definitely looking forward to Farm Sim 25. I don't know uh, if any of you have uh, followed it and heard any information about it, but they've actually uh, added an Asian map into it, and they've added some new um, some new crops. They've got rice, they've got spinach, they've got uh, I think green beans was the other one. No peas. Ah, I can't remember. There's there's so much stuff going on, um, but the big the big one for me was was adding in the, uh, the Asian aspect of it. I thought that was really really cool. And they've added a new animal type in water buffalo. So it's just it's really really cool. I really have um, a huge passion for lots of the, the Asian culture and stuff like that, so hearing that they have added in an entire Asian flair and Asian maps and Asian uh, crops and Asian animals, it's just, it's, uh, it's really got me super excited for the, the Farm Sim 25 release, so, uh, and that release is going to be, I think it's November 12th, is the day that that drops, so. Definitely be jumping into Farm Sim 25 with the day that it drops. It is going to take a considerable amount of time for the modders to get all the realism mods jammed back into it, so um, we're just going to have to kind of play it by ear and figure out what we're going to do for our first series in Farm Sim 25, but it's definitely not going to be as realistic as what I'm trying to do now, but that's okay. Um, at the end of the day, this is just all about having some fun and playing some farm sim. Uh, the realism thing for me is just because I'm sure as many of you know from all the previous gameplay that we've done, uh, I, I like to I, I like to challenge myself. I like to do things as real as possible and make it a little bit challenging while still having fun. And this series, I know we've got a lot of equipment, we've got a lot of land, we've got some money in the bank, so it's not the most challenging series that, uh, that we've done, but uh, like I said, we're just trying to ease our way back into things and uh, not, not, uh, not make ourselves go too, too crazy. <laughs> But anyways, I've been talking for way too long. Let's uh, let's jump out to an outside view here, and we will time lapse this field and give you some nice music to listen to while we get this job done.
a couple of passes here in this field and I have to say it's a lot bigger than it looked on the mini map. So <laughs> I think what we'll end up doing with this bit of canola that we're going to throw into the trailer uh, is probably drop it into our pig pen and that will serve as, as food for them when we do end up getting some pigs. And we're, like I said, we're going to try and do this as quickly as we can, so it's not going to take too, too long. First little bit of fun. We're going to uh, try and get the pipe to line up here. In first person view. Let's get this pipe brought out. Make sure that we're we're good. We can do a little lean. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I think we're in a good spot. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, as I said, I think this is only around 4,000 liters so we can put that in for the pigs and we will uh, we'll try and get some pigs if not in this episode definitely by the next one uh, let's go to hop out here really quick and take a look at this field so we have some weeds growing I just want to see if it was going to say if we had to plow this field or if we're going to be able to get away with cultivating it doesn't say needs plowing so we should be able to get away with cultivating uh, and this here, I was not expecting to get straw out of this field. Uh, canola doesn't normally do that, but I do have a bunch of mods installed for... Uh, there's this really, really amazing realism mod. It's called Terra Life Plus. And it, like, revolutionizes farm sim kind of takes the game into a week-by-week -week breakdown rather than a month-by-month -month breakdown and it is crazy detailed and uh, I think that one of the mods that I've downloaded that uh, ties into that Terra Life Plus is actually affecting the rest of the crops because it does change so much of the game a sneaky feeling that that's why we're getting some straw from our canola because I, like I said, I don't think that it normally does give us straw. I uh, want to be over in front of that header trailer here, trying to back up this thing with uh, Just the mirrors is is a little bit on the challenging side. Okay, we should be good here, I think. Let's see how we did. Oops, I want to lower down the header. Yes, so we are away good. Let's see. So we have. We've definitely made a meal of that one. We're not in a good spot there. We can fix that up. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's run over here and go grab the trailer, and we'll bring that canola over and stick it in the old pigsty there, so that they've got some food. And then I think we're gonna hook up our baler and we'll run through this field really quick probably end up being another time lapse or worst case scenario a jump cut uh, we'll just have to see i'm not sure how long the um the other time lapse is going to be and i'd hate to back the back time lapse and, and have it take up so much of the, the video so we'll probably just jump cut the bailing of all this straw and uh Get it done. Uh, bring you back when we're done with that. But first things first, let's get this canola dropped off here, and that way when we do make the make the pig purchase, 
we will be in good shape for food for them. Let's see how much. It's 36, 32. I could have looked at what I had in the trailer, but I did not pay attention. Are we? We're not. Oh, there's, that's just enough of a tree that it's stopping us from going. Yep. Let's get spun around here. We'll go drop this trailer back off over at the silo, so it's out of the way. I'd like it facing into the yard if we can, just to make it easier to hook up the next time. Perfect. This is a little bit of a tight compound in this farm, but it just looks really cool. So it's the one that I definitely wanted to have for this series. So, all right, let's get this all unhooked. Oh, just connect the hoses first. There we are. All right, so our baler is sitting over here. So we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna head out into the field and get this straw all bailed up. Uh, one thing I just realized that I forgot, we're going to have to go run to the store. Um, I also have mods that you have to buy the foil and buy the net wrap for making bales, and I have not done that. So we're going to uh, shut her down here and go get that stuff. We'll take the pickup truck, get her all loaded up, and bring her back to the farm. So I'll bring you right back after we're done. Well folks, welcome to a little post-production audio inclusion as someone is extremely rusty at YouTube after a couple months off and I forgot to unmute my microphone. So anyways, uh, the gist of this spot here of course is we're just uh, we're getting the foil loaded out of the back of the pickup truck here and uh, we're going to get it dropped off into the barn right next to the net. Oh no, this is the net wrap. The foil was the one that we offloaded first. So we're going to get this put into the old uh, barn here and uh, then we're going to get the loader put away and we're going to load up the baler with both the net wrap and with the foil. Um, I did realize after the fact that since we're doing straw we don't need foil at this exact moment because um, the foil of course is only used for silage and we don't make silage out of straw. We're just baling the straw to use uh, in the pig sty. We're going to use it for some bedding so that we can get uh, uh, get the pigs some nice bedding going on, which will generate us some manure, which is fabulous. So, um, anyways, yeah, it was a big, uh, a big mess here, uh, getting everything done and having no audio recorded. And I didn't find out until we were three quarters of the way done all the bailing that we did. So, uh, well, what can you do? It's the it's the first day back after a couple months off, so. Gotta take it with a grain of salt. But anyways, uh, we're gonna rip over into the field here, and uh, we're gonna get the baler all fired up, and we're going to kick it off and uh, get a bunch of straw bales made up, and uh, kind of go from there. So uh, I didn't want to do a time lapse on this one because it was gonna take just as long as the cutting did. So. We're doing a big jump cut here, but we will bring you back as soon as we're done with the bailing, and we'll go from there. Well, well, well. Somebody's very, very rusty at the old YouTube game. <laughs> um, we're back from our jump cut, but I realized that before I started my jump cut, uh, I think I had to cough when we were back at the store and I hit the mute on my microphone and I didn't realize till about 10 minutes before ending this jump cut that I had muted my microphone. 
Um, so probably have a, a few minutes of, uh, of me doing voiceover in post-production to get some audio going on with the action that we had, but uh, eh, it's all good. Like I said, it's uh, it's been a couple of months away and I'm definitely rusty, so hopefully uh, we can get ourselves back up to where we were before I had to run and take my little break. But uh, just last little piece here. Perfect. Okay, so the bale's only about 44% done, but we're going to kick it out anyways because we don't want to have anything left in the baler. Uh, so you're going to notice that my twine and my foil are half of the values they were before. Um, <laughs> I made a mistake and I was trying to bring up the info screen and in my brain I was like, press I, press I. So I, I, I hit the I key on the keyboard and I kicked all the foil and all the net wrap out onto the field. Ay, 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 ay. So... I did end up uh, reloading the net wrap back on, but for some reason, it only loads half back on. You can hold 6,000 meters of each, and it only let me load 3,000 meters of each back on. So um, I ended up getting rid of the, uh, the foil and the wrap that I had kicked out into the field. So we deleted it. We just got rid of it, so uh, we're going to be short a little bit of each of those. But uh, it was it was a simple mistake, and I just, like I said, figured we'll delete it and get rid of it rather than try and uh, try and monkey around and get it back over here. That's the only thing I could have done was ran back, grab the. Uh, grabbed the front end loader, picked up the pallets, and brought everything back, and I was like, I don't want to spend all that time doing it, so we just sacrificed it, so we're a little bit short. That's okay. Um, let's go see what we did for bales. I didn't even count them up. Um, so we'll just take a quick, forgetting that I gotta go around this little piece of the fence here. I could jump it, but... Going around this way. Let's just see what we kind of got for some bales here. So we got three, six, seven, eight, 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 seven, nineteen. I think we got about twenty bales. Twenty-one. I meant to put the bale counting mod on here, and I completely forgot to do it. So. Uh, I don't think that uh, that's a little bit heavy. Oh, can we? I was going to say, it better not say we can pick these up. We can't. <laughs> I think it's got to be under 200 kilograms to pick it up. So, um, yeah, so I think what we're going to do is it's 4.08 in the afternoon. You're not going to have a lot of time left before the sun starts uh, getting ready to go down. So I think we'll bring this first episode to a close. And... Uh, I'm going to try and leave these episodes a little bit on the shorter side so that we're not doing, like, hour-long episodes. Um, next episode, what I think we'll try and do is we'll we'll try and get some straw into uh, into the, the pigsty here so that we've got some bedding for the pigs, and then we will actually get some pigs. We'll have them brought over for us and... Uh, get ourselves ready to rock and roll with some animals. So, uh, with all that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this first video back, and uh, again, I'd like to thank all of you for sticking by me and sending some messages and uh, making me, uh, you know, kind of helping me push push through and, uh, and get back to doing what I love to do. So, um, thank you to all of you, and uh, really looking forward to making lots more content and uh, getting back into some, some live streaming as soon as possible as well. Uh, I really, really miss hanging out with you all, and I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope you all are as well, and I hope that we'll see you out on the next one. Take care, everybody.